All right, well, uh, let's see. Today I jumped in this uh, John Deere 1010E forwarder, and uh, I notice, if you can see, I'm sitting in the cab straight, and you can see I'm not completely centered with the hood, the front of the machine. So that tells me my cab is um, is in need of a calibration. So um, just in case anybody needs to know how you go about doing that, I know this does have the smaller standard screen in it. There are the bigger um, computer systems in it, which that process is a little bit different. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through. This is a John Deere 1010E, and this is how you calibrate the cab. Um, so what you do is, Let's see, you go to this uh, center menu button, and then you go down to number four. It looks like uh, a machine driving towards a box. You want to arrow up towards that box and highlight it, and hit uh, enter again, and now that I hit enter, if you can see that, it does show um, where you can arrow up now. So you click on that, and what you do now here is you have to um, physically or manually swing the cab both ways to get a full calibration on it so in that case I hold F1 right here on my right pad <clears throat> you hold F1 and you use your uh, left thumb stick here which is your slide boom when you're facing the boom here so you wanna it doesn't matter which way you go first and I do know you have to be careful because um, it's not restricted at all and if you just hold that button right down you're gonna jam right to the side and come against your bump stop so you want to just slowly go because it only goes just a little bit forward or to your right anyways because there's nothing that you're gonna be working out this way so that's where your bump stops at so I went ahead and went all the way to my right I'm against my bump stop I'm still holding R1 or F1 now I'm gonna go the other way and you got to take this all the way around and then once you get a little, you're getting close, you're three quarters away there, start kind of slowing it down and just thumbing it until you hit that stop. Right there. Okay, now it's logged it in, that's my radius. Now you gotta swing it all the way back around. And you gotta get it lined right up where you want your center to be. So take your time and get it exactly lined up so it'll stay on for a little bit longer and you don't have any more issues with it. Come on, you bugger. One more little click. Too far. All right, right there looks beautiful. All right, so now I let off my uh, F1 here, and you have to hit number two on the D-pad on your right side, and it should change my screen. Okay, it brought me back out of it. That tells me that it logged it and saved it. Now, you go back down to number four, you click on it, and it unchecked my box for me. So that means it should have saved it. So let's get out of there, and uh, now let's try it. Okay. So now that I have my auto on here that's telling me that my cab is on auto follow, or it's on, when I hit that button, it'll spin around, I guess. So now I can hit my rotate button here, and if I hold it, it's gonna make a liar out of me. Oh, that would be why, okay. You gotta hit this min max button sitting over here and that enables your boom otherwise it has nothing to follow so you hit that now it comes on and brings up my booms on now I can hit my button over here on the right and now I have my arrows so that will follow so everywhere I rotate my boom now my cab will follow it <clears throat> So um, your main boom is on your right hand in this machine. Pull back goes up, um, push forward goes down, and then your jib boom 
on your left hand, you pull towards you, it brings it towards you, you push away from you, and it goes away from you. And this is your extension boom, the same one that I use to thumb um, my cab around, but that is your extension boom. And then your bucket is on your right hand thumb. And your rotate is also on your right hand. And your swing is on your left hand. So there's not too many buttons in this cab that uh, it doesn't have all the options or anything by no means. So, um, oh, let's see what else is there. You know, you got your horn, um, all your lights. This does not have the turn signals. So your hazards, your lights, it does have the wiper. Uh, around the wiper across there um, let's see there's a couple things in here you use on this d-pad here to if I use this button it turns my my speed and and uh, power up on my boom and all the working aspect of it um, let's see my drive gears are forward neutral reverse that's on your right hand um, your differential lock is also on your right hand and you hold it to lock all in you have to have um, you have to be running your throttle and it will stop you and gauge everything and as long as you stay on the throttle or the gas pedal it will lock all them differentials um, let's see this is the steering it's just a joystick um, let's see I mean, it's pretty simple in here. It's just made to strictly go out and and uh, get your wood picked up and get them out to the out to the landing. So um, it doesn't need all the fancy stuff on this this old girl. But um, I just figured if anybody was having an issue with their um, cab calibration, that is how you go ahead and do it. That's in the 1010E. And I know the uh, the different computer screens that are in these, the bigger ones that have more options and stuff like that. Um, that is a little bit different. I'm not sure how that's done. I haven't been in one of those, but, um, but that's how I do it with a standard screen, just a small screen here. Um, and there's not really much to this thing. You know, that activates your boom and your working RPM. Shut it on and off. Um, you, when you're facing the bunks and you want to spin back around, you hold either your, you can tell the wore out buttons, one that gets used most. You hold that, that's a designated cab button, or there's one right here on your right hand. Um, either one does the same thing. It's nice to have it on my left hand. It works really well. Um, so you hold it, and that baby will spin you back around. Um, and now that it's calibrated, look at that. She stops just right on the dime. But also on my right hand, this is your blade function. Just a nice little separate joystick. I like that a lot. Um, so you can work all your other functions and still drive around and you're not, you know, some things there's a designating button for two things. And that's how this cab is set up for when you're facing the boom or you're facing the blade. Um, it's got designated buttons that work for two separate functions depending on which way you're facing. So I do like that that blade is, is uh, an, an only blade button or uh, rocker switch joystick so I do like that that's that's nice um, but that's pretty much it um, I got the calibration down in case anybody was wondering how to do that and uh, like I said there's really nothing more to it um, but I figured I might as well throw a little in cab in there um, on kind of how this just a little small operation goes but um, but that's how you do it guys so got any questions or anything um, Put it down in the comments that's where we're at with that and i figured i'd take just a second to uh go ahead and and uh get this machine calibrated back up and ready to hit her hard so um like i said any comments or questions i'll get back to you um and uh hope you enjoyed that little calibration video slash in cab video all right guys have a good one we'll catch you later